Okay, I was looking for a video on this. I've, this is my 335XI, it's an E92 chassis. It's a 2011 with an N55 in it, but um, I think the older E-series chassis had a different, had a reluctor ring on the axle. So this is the axle out of this car. This was rusty, so I painted it up, but as you can see, there is absolutely no reluctor ring on this axle. So I've been having the triple uh, warning lights on the dash, four by four, you know, all the uh, the errors that come along with a bad ABS sensor, or sorry, wheel speed sensor. And I was trying to find online and it's a bit confusing whether or not these 2011s have a reluctor ring. And I found info on that, that they don't, they don't use the uh, typical reluctor ring set up with the wheel speed sensor, but instead use a Hall effect style um, wheel speed sensor. So I, I changed the wheel speed sensor, as you can see, this is brand new and I ran the car, still have those lights. So wheel bearing on the car is not bad, but since the magnet in the back of the bearing is what drives that sensor, I'm changing the wheel bearing out. So I just kind of wanted to show you how this works. So if we come around back, you can see this, this is the, the bore for the wheel bearing. This is the hole the wheel speed sensor goes in. Let me see if I can... Uh, Slide that sensor in the hole. Sorry, ill prepared here. So that sensor sticks in here like so. So that's the wheel speed sensor installed in its hole. And you can see that that, let me pull my light out front so it's not causing you glare here. So there's the wheel speed sensor poking into the bore of the, uh, the wheel bearing. So you can see it is literally flush with that ring that is uh, cast into the hub. So that is the sensing side. And when I was pulling these out, I was a bit deceived by the fact that this is kind of at a 45 angle here. I was thinking this was the sensing surface and it is not. It is the, it is the back side of this, this um, sensor. So it goes in with the, the slant back in order to kind of nest along the, um, the chamfered side of this, uh, this axle. So they've designed that plastic piece to kind of fit in there nicely. And so what happens, what I think the failure mode is, is if you've changed your wheeled speed sensor and you're still getting that, this is the wheel bearing that came out of that bore, right? So it was, it was in here like this. Obviously it has a, the front race on it. When you pull the, uh, the hub out, it takes this, this outer race with it. And then you press this bearing out with a press kit. But this back side of the bearing actually has a magnetic surface to it. And um, mine actually, I've got the new bearing in the freezer before I press it back in here. But my knife sticks pretty aggressively to the new bearing. And it doesn't at all hardly to this one. So this bearing was not growling, but I'm wondering if it was on the way out or just over time with heat. This car's got 150,000 miles on it. So... It's been in there a while, so I'm wondering if the, the ga magnetic gauss of this, this bearing's just worn enough that uh, there's not enough magnetism there to cause a, a good solid signal on that, uh, that wheel speed sensor. And if you, if you run live data di diagnostics on it, um, I should put that in this video, but uh, I, I didn't take any video of the, the diagnostic screen. The left rear speed sensor is nice and smooth and follows the, the speed of the car. While this corner of the car is very jagged, you can just, it does register a speed that's pretty close to the car speed, but you can see it's very erratic, bouncing up and down around what the actual speed is. So hopefully that's um, kind of clears up these uh, 2011 and later BMWs and issues with that wheel speed sensor. Hopefully um, I'll, uh, I'll have to maybe follow up and verify that this, this wheel bearing installation does fix the problem, but uh, Replacing that wheel speed sensor did not, so we're uh, we're doing this next, and I, I believe that's that's my problem is this this wheel bearing is just not magnetic enough to to give me a good solid signal there. So, all right, hope it helps you. Good luck. Just got my bearing real quick to show you guys. So, really no magnetic attraction. Just took this one out of the freezer, and you can see the the knife sticks pretty pretty good to it. This one not at all. So, so yeah, hopefully the bearing's it. I believe it will fix it. Okay, just pulling in the driveway from a pretty lengthy uh, test drive and I left with four warning light, or come home with four warning lights and uh, I had the triple, the 
ABS and X drive and all the all the uh, wheel speed sensor error codes you'd expect but I can confirm that the wheel bearing was in fact my problem so I changed the wheel speed sensor as I mentioned before with no change and uh, changed the wheel bearing and uh, that did take care of it the uh, the other error I had was my uh, direct injection pump I barely made it home last week and uh, had changed my in tank pump but it ended up being the direct injection pump but not not uh, part of the subject matter on this video but uh yeah if you've had wheel speed sensor issues and the uh triple error codes give the uh the wheel bearing a shot uh yeah sorry to be the bearer of bad news it's not the easiest of jobs but uh it's not too bad if you got the right tools so but hopefully that sorts somebody out with that problem that's struggling to figure out what's wrong good luck